A South Florida politician who has generated controversy over the years and left public office a decade ago is now making a comeback. David Rivera of Miami is running for a seat in the State House of Representatives where he served 20 years ago. Rivera sat down for an exclusive interview with our senior political reporter Michael Putney and he's in the newsroom now with more. Forget about the fake news and the lies from the Miami Herald. David Rivera has not mellowed. He says the Miami Herald has been out to get him, but he has made himself an inviting target. Your past history, frankly, my friend, is sort of checkered. Not when it comes to the, my performance in the legislature, absolutely, absolutely not. Maybe. Rivera does know his way around Tallahassee, where years ago he roomed with his buddy Marco Rubio. Rivera served in the Florida House from 2002 to 2010, then had one term in Congress. David Rivera nos ha respaldado siempre. Running for re-election, Rivera allegedly recruited a straw candidate, Justin Lamar Sternad, to hurt his Democratic opponent. But the opponent won, Sternad went to jail, and Rivera was named in court as an unindicted co-conspirator. David, I was in federal district court when Judge Robert Scola said, who is unindicted co-conspirator number one? Give us his name. And the U.S. attorney said, it's David Rivera. And then they never said anything else. Can you imagine that? Another Rivera controversy in 2017, a $50 million contract to improve the image of Citgo, the U.S. affiliate of Venezuela's huge PDVSA. The contract with uh, an affiliate of Citgo here in the United States was for, uh, for $50 million, which represents to them, you know, a company that is a multi-billion dollar corporation and gives and does these kind of, you know, million dollar contracts routinely over the last several, several decades, had nothing to do with PDVSA, had nothing to do with the governor of Venezuela. The Miami Herald lied when they said there was a contract between David Rivera and PDVSA. Pedevesa, once again, is that giant Venezuelan oil company that supports the socialist Maduro regime. Other thing, David Rivera filed to be a candidate for the state legislature, but he is still not listed by the state as a qualified candidate. As of today, David Rivera is not on the ballot. Michael Putney, local news.